right, today we're going to talk about ratios, proportions, and the geometric mean. We've seen this word mean before, but uh, we've talked about the algebraic mean, where you add the numbers up and divide by how many. Geometric mean is a little bit different. So, here we go. Today, ratio of A to B. If A and B are two numbers or quantities, B cannot be zero, all right, then the ratio of A to B is A to B. So you can write it like this, A to B. You can write it like this as a fraction. You can write it with a semicolon. They all mean the same thing, A to B. Okay? A proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal. Okay? That's what a proportion is. Two ratios that are equal. That's what makes up a proportion. The means and the extremes in your proportion, all right? Here's ratio, the first ratio. Here's the second ratio. They are equal. That's proportion. In your proportion, B and C are the means. B and C are the means. And A and D are the extremes. A is there and D is there. All right? Now, the geometric mean. The geometric mean of two positive numbers, A and B, is the positive number X that satisfies here. We just got done talking about means and extremes in our proportion. The means are B and C. All right, we're trying to find the geometric mean. All right, so the X's are there. We're finding of two numbers, A and B. A and B can be any numbers. They represent some geometric figures. All right, lengths, angle measures, so on and so forth. All right? All right, simplifying ratios. That'll be the first type of problems we're gonna go to. So if we had the ratio of 76 centimeters to eight centimeters, all right, you simplify the numbers, and then you also simplify the units. So 76 and eight, what's the largest number that they have in common? The greatest common factor, all right? And 76 and eight, the greatest common factor is four. 76 divided by four is, uh, what is that? 119, and 8 divided by 4 is 2 centimeters divided by centimeters cancels out. The ratio is 19 to 2. Okay, your ratio always has two numbers. You're comparing two numbers. Second one, 4 feet to 24 inches. So the very first thing, this one had like units. We're fine. We can just simplify it. This one does not have like units. 4 feet, 24 inches. We have to have like units. All right, so we need to convert units. So four feet, I'm gonna keep that one. And 24 inches, I can easily convert that to two feet, okay? And four and two have a greatest common factor of two. Four divided by two is two. Two divided by two is one. Feet divided by feet is one. They cancel each other out. We're left with two to one. And when, what's different about a ratio versus a fraction is when we have this number as a fraction, we just say it's two. When we're talking about a ratio, simplify the ratio, it's two to one, all right? All right, painting, you're painting barn doors. You know that the perimeter of the doors is 64 feet and that the ratio of the length to the height is three to five. Find the area of the doors. So the first thing, I'm drawing a barn door or doors, plural, all right? The perimeter is 64 feet, okay? The ratio of the length to the height is three to five. Three to five. Now, if we think about it, we just got done simplifying ratios here, right? What did we do? We looked for a greatest common factor and divided that out. We looked for a greatest common factor and divided it out. Well, that's what this is. When you're given a ratio, it's in simplest form, meaning something has been divided out, and it's the same number from both terms. So it's 3x and 5x. We don't know what that number's been divided out, okay? Now, how do you find perimeter of barn doors, or rectangles in this case? You add up all the sides, right? And two of the sides are the same, or two pairs of the sides are the same. So we have 3x, two times 3x, plus two times five x equals the perimeter. Right? So we have six x plus 10 x equals 64. Six x and 10 x is 16 x equals 64. Divide by 16, x equals, and that is four. 
All right, so x is 4. Well, now, do we know the dimensions of these barn doors? Yeah. 3 times 4, all right, that's 12. And we're talking about feet here, so this is 12 feet, all right? And 5 times 4, that's 20 feet. Now, find the area. How do you find the area of a rectangle? The area equals length times width, so the area equals 12 times 20. 12 times 20 is 240, and feet times feet is feet squared. Okay? So the barn doors are 12 feet long, 20 feet high, perimeter 64, 12 and 12 is 24, 20 and 20 is 40, 40 and 24 is 64. So then the area is 12 times 20, 240 feet squared. Okay? All right. Measure the angles in the triangle, BCD. Okay, we probably should label it BCD. Are in the extended ratio. So an extended ratio, all that means is simply that you're comparing more than two numbers. In this case, we're comparing three numbers. A ratio is comparison of two numbers. An extended ratio, we're comparing, in this case, three numbers. All right? Find the measures of the angles. So if they're in a ratio of two to three to four, Again, a ratio is written in simplest form. That means something's been divided out or factored out. So that's why we have 2x, 3x, and 4x. Something has been divided out of all three of those, and it's the same term. So hence why we have x, x, and x. Now, we have a triangle. What do we know about every single triangle? That the angles have to add up to equal 180 degrees, right? So we have 7, we have 9x equals 180. Divide by 9, x equals 20. Okay? Now the question is find the measures of the angles. So if x is 20, okay, obviously 2x, that's 40 degrees, 3x, that's 60 degrees, and 4x, that's 80 degrees. And there are three angle measures. Okay? All right. A property that we use when we're talking about proportions, the cross products property. Products means multiply, cross means we're going across, all right? So we have a proportion, A to B equals C to D, all right? And the cross products property says this, any proportion, the product of the extremes equals the product of the means. And if you remember back to the very first page, the extremes were A and D, and the means were B and C. So. The product means multiply of the extreme, so A times D equals the product of the means, B times C. All right, so if you have your proportion, and B and D cannot be zero, because we can't divide by zero, then A times D equals B times C. That's how you solve a proportion. So here, we have a very simple one, okay? Product of the means equals the product of the extremes. So we have 4 times x equals 3 times 16, which is uh, 48, I believe. Okay? Divide both sides by 4. x equals 12. Okay? Now this one, a little bit more complex. Again, product of the extremes equals the product of the means. So 3 times x equals 2 times the whole thing, x plus 1. So we have to do what? What's the first thing we have to do? We have to distribute, right? So 2 times x, 2 times 1. All right, subtract 2x from both sides, because we have an algebraic equation. x equals 2. So again, it's this term times this term, the whole thing which means you have to distribute, not just 2 times x, or not just 2 times 1, it's 2 times the whole thing, okay? All right, I want you to try this problem on your own, all right, and come to class, we'll talk about that, and I'll just give you a reminder, however you set up your first proportion, you must set up your second proportion the same way, all right? You're com again, you're comparing two things, and however you set this one up, set up the second one the same way. And they kind of have it set up here for you, but give that a try, and we'll talk about that in class, okay?
All right. The geometric mean of two positive numbers, A and B, is the positive number X that satisfies this proportion. All right, and again, these are the means. All right, now, if you solve your proportion, it's X times X, which is X squared, A times B. So X squared equals A times B. Solve for X, well, you take the square of this side, take the square of that side. So X equals the square root of A times B. Okay? So, Find the geometric mean of 16 and 48. Again, we're not doing the algebraic mean. We don't add the 2 and then divide by 2. All right? We don't add 16 and 48 and then divide by 2. All right? We set up, find the geometric mean. So I'm trying to find the geometric mean. I have my proportion. The means are there. I don't know the geometric mean. And what am I finding the geometric mean of? 16 and 48. All right? So solve. You get x squared equals 16 times 48, which is 768. All right, take the square root of x squared, take the square root of 768, which is 27.7. And if we look at just the algebraic mean, 16 plus 48 is 64 divided by 2 is 32. So the algebraic mean is 32. The geometric mean is 27.7. So they clearly are different values. So make sure you're finding the geometric mean and not the algebraic mean. Okay? All right. That is all I have for today. Um, please come to class with this example done. Please ask questions, and uh, we will get talking about this. Thank you.